Welcome back. Colorado state leaders have introduced a nearly $5.3 billion transportation bill aimed at improving the Centennial State's transportation system. New at 10 or Nightside reporter Rob Hagan stands by live at a local gas station with more details. Rob? That's right, Jillian. The bill aims to fix our roads, save Coloradans money, and improve the air quality by adding more transportation options. Well, my job is to ask questions to get answers, and there's only one question on my mind. How are they going to pay for it? Well, Western Slope, here's a hint. There's a reason why I'm at a gas station. Colorado lawmakers are applauding at this to fix this and this. It's time for a transportation system that will get us where we need to go the way we need to get there. Colorado legislative leaders have introduced the new and improved transportation bill. Most importantly, this bill is for you. It's to finally fix our damn roads. It's to finally address the frustration that we all feel when we're stuck in traffic. Polis says the average Coloradan loses $600 a year stuck in traffic. But here on the Western Slope, what traffic? The nearly $5.3 billion bill aims to save Coloradans money by reducing registration fees. Every Coloradan who has registered vehicles will uh, save money uh, with this bill. Aims at investing more into a dynamic transportation system like electric vehicles and support for those vehicles improving air quality. This is the year we will make it happen. You can't have a transportation bill without a transportation fee and the cost to most Coloradans will be two cents per gallon of gas starting in 2022. Transportation gas fee bill will increase one cent each year until it reaches eight cents per gallon, costing each Coloradan 28 bucks the first year. The bill will also increase registration for electric vehicles, $4 per year for 10 years and three bucks per year for hybrids. We can add real value real value to the lives of every Colorado business and every Colorado family. And that's exactly what this bill, which represents years of hard work, does. Colorado voters haven't approved a gas tax increase since 1991. And the transportation bill will use $1.5 billion from the state's general fund and add 27,000 jobs. Hopefully though, some of those jobs or at your local gas station. First on the Western Slope and live at one of the only full service gas stations, I'm Rob Hagan with KREX 5 News. We'll be right back after the break.